M0FXB, Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. M zero FXB. So I thought we'd do a, a sort of unboxing and and setup of the G seven RPG Hubnet no, Hub node. So here it is. It's come. Uh, it's cut, literally came the next day, which I'm very pleased about. Thank you very much to Peter for that. So uh, G seven RPG has been making these nodes for quite a few years now, and they're very popular. And the whole point of a all star node is it connects you to the all-star system which basically connects gateways repeaters and other applications to the all-star system which is linking up hams all over the world um, using a normal fm radio so you can literally use your bofung on this um, or your 500 quid kenwood d74 or um, icom 705 it doesn't matter what the radio is it will work, and it works very well. I've used it, uh, used it before, and uh, there's some very interesting um, nodes uh, all over. The, and there's a lot more to it. You can link node to node, and it's just a very good system. So what we're going to do right now, I mean, there's, there's G7RPG's QRZ. You can contact him to buy one of these uh, micro nodes. They're about £130, £135 delivered, if I'm correct. And um, There's the uh, Hubnet um, section just regarding... the the node and there's a video on here you can watch from uh, 2E0 UKH that's Chris so let's just go back to um, unboxing it what I'm going to do is take it out of the box I haven't done this yet because the whole point of this is that it is a plug and go item you know you, you don't have to do anything you literally plug it in fire it up listen to the instructions and um, and away you go now instructions have been emailed me so let's um, let's just do it one at a time so let's get the thing open without putting a knife into my uh, radio which I've got in the background uh, I'm using the 705 to test which is way overkill because all you need is a bow funk so it's going to take it out or of course I've taken it out upside down so uh, right there's the package so it comes just in a, a small box and it I guess it make sure we're focused in here. And it has got a, a power lead, which we shall be connecting uh, very shortly. And let's have a look at the actual box that, um, that Peter has used. So it's um, on the back, I've got my, uh, my node number, my new node number. I've got two nodes, my call sign, the frequency and the CTCSS which is uh, going to go into my radio shortly and so at the front I know that the LED changes colour to let you know um, you know what you're actually doing so there's the little package now I've actually made one of these myself from scratch uh, just to really to learn the whole system of it so let's um, get the power on it in a second um, and then we'll come back and we'll listen to what it does. We'll turn the volume up nice and loud on the, we're going to use the 705 here, get it onto the right frequency on CTCSS first. Um, so we'll probably do that now before I stop this section of the video. So we'll just get it onto VFO mode. Uh, so we go VFO and then we'll change it to four, as it said on the back, was it four? Three, four, two hundred. So hit that. Um, actually, we just turn it. Change. Four, three, four, two hundred. So, and then we'll do the CTCSS, which is probably in the function memory. Hold that down, and we'll change that to seventy-seven. Okay. get it back on the fancy scope uh, so at the moment right so let's just pause one minute we've got the power the power cable that came with it we've now got it connected to um, the our 12 volt power supply and when we plug it into the box you know into the node we're going to hear what it says it should give out our IP address I Dot 
Nine. Okay, so once you've heard that, you can see the uh, the light changes colour. It was blue, then it went red. Now it's back to blue. So let's go to that IP address that it just gave, and so we come to this control panel. Now this control panel is different than what um, than Supermon, which is one that um, people um, who have made their own micronodes. Uh, could use so let's just use this is designed by Peter for Peter and uh, to help himself and to help uh, friends on ham radio so let's just click click connect to hubnet by clicking this square here You can see that's quite a weak signal because because it's connecting ordinary FM repeaters, the people the audio quality is as good as the repeater or or the connection from the radio to they might have a, a node that's near their home, uh, they might have their own node in their house. So the connection is as good as that, and also audio you know setting up audio parameters is important, and there are audio connections for test testing that. So I haven't really looked at this at all. We've got some shortcuts here. You can use uh, your DTMF pad by hitting uh, star. Uh, let's have, we do have a PDF here somewhere. So hopefully you can see that PDF. And there's some, it's worth reading, but things like, you know, if you want to type in uh, a, a node number, you go star three, then type in the number uh, and, and, and you'll connect to that node number and it will star 73 to disconnect. There's a couple of shortcuts that have been added like star 55 gets you straight to hubnet and star 59 gets you to the the test server. So we could just try and go on the test server. Um, there might be a shortcut on here but let's start off I just uh, let's just switch to a different uh, connection and see what we think. So let's switch to Texas link system. I'll turn up the volume and then we'll hit it. We might have to disconnect first. W A five A I R connected to M zero F X B. W A five A I R connected to M zero F X B. Probably my fault for clicking it twice. So there's, there's no activity there. So let's, um, should we try, let's just go back to, to Hubnet. So we, find this is the witch's you know. It's quite difficult. I'll sympathize with you. Put that dipole up on the roof or in the loft over. And then what we'll do, we'll see if we can get the DTMF working. So we'll go menu. DTMF, now we've, we've saved these as shortcuts. So the Parrot server is, is dash 59, so let's try it. We might have to key when we do it. So we'll key the mic and then we've hit it. Hopefully we haven't stamped all over that person. Like I said, I'm new to this. <laughs> I think I'll disconnect and then I'll try again. So there's a button here, disconnect all. All right, and then we'll go, we'll hit that again, see. Right, well, I think that's the, the test server. Let's try it. Mike Zero Fox X-Ray Bravo testing. Playback. Mike Zero Fox X-Ray Bravo testing. Yeah, you can see I'm a bit hot, so I probably need to turn, turn down my 
my settings a bit. There is an audio test straight on here. I wonder if that takes you straight to the same place. Let's hit it. See what it says. H-U-T-M-E-T. Yeah. yeah, it takes you it takes you to the same place. So bubble map, let's have a look at that. So it, oh yeah, it's showing where I'm connected. Now I connected well let, let's go back to Let's try 2560, because I, I connected to that yesterday, and I thought that was fantastic. So what we'll do, uh, we'll go back to the control page. We'll disconnect everything. And we will go to the 25601. So we'll go send, and I think I've got that in my memory. So I put a 3 in front of this. Hopefully I did, that's correct, so let's hit it. We hit three. See what it says. No, so let's, let's try. Let's add a new one. Oh, oh I've done that, let's disconnect. Disconnect again. Yeah, I keep hitting it again. So, right, so let's go. Let's edit one. No. Oh. Keep hitting the wrong button. So we'll go star two five six zero. Oh. Enter. And this time we'll send it rather than edit it. Let's do it. So let's hit that. See what it says. So maybe I've got to key the mic and then send it. So I'll key the mic. I'll hit send and I'll hit it. As you know, I, I'm new to it. I've just fired this up for the first time, but you get the idea. So let's go back to Hubnet for now. T-O-N, it's um, near, about five miles from Stone, which you've probably heard of. Back to you. Okay, well, that, I think that's enough for this demonstration, just to give you an idea. So if you've got a Bofang or an FT70 or any FM radios lying around that you hardly ever use because you're always on your, uh, you know, digital hotspot for D-Star, DMR, Fusion, um, consider the option of uh, FM connections all over the world, a bit like a hotspot, but using a one of these G7RPG uh, nodes which I think are excellent, they're very well made. Inside there's a Raspberry Pi 3 and uh, a small uh, Bofeng 888 radio plus some um, uh, sound card components, some uh, power adapter components and some other items. So, uh, and, uh, so I, think, I think they're an excellent value and I think I'll, I'll add the link in the description. And um, 7.3 for now, all the best. <laughs>